Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you uh, to all of those waiting patiently in the stream. We had a unexpectedly long wait for players today, but we're here with an Agricola game, as usual. With Scholar, Field Watchman, and PJ17 this time, we're playing EIK, WM France, G4 through 7. Uh, PJ saying, was well, this Sonny's filtered game? Nope. So that's a strong hand that I, I'm getting second. That's fun. Cabinet Owner is a four-wood card that gives three bonus points. Oh, really strong cards. Uh, family Physician is... Okay, but not great. Headmasters, probably four points. Uh, oh, yeah, no worries, Trombar. Glad you're here hanging out regardless. Dunk Collector I probably don't need yet, but if I take Straw Fencer, then that would work pretty well. I'm not sure if Straw Fencer is a great card in G6, G7. It's good. Just get the window sizing correct here. Uh, yeah, so I think I take cabinet owner or headmaster. Uh, I mean, I'm getting this information from everyone else that, uh, it's a power game. So should I use that info to pick headmaster? Uh, I don't know where the draft ethics committee is on that, but I feel like if people are saying something, it's my choice whether to believe them or not. So I think I'll take headmaster. Oh, straw fencers in my hand. Uh, yeah, I'll take Headmaster. It can't go that badly. Uh, okay. So, yep, it, this is, uh, this is strong stuff for sure. Okay, okay. Uh, Master Huntsman is the best. Stone Sculptor, Constable, quite good. Wealthy Euro, probably not the pick here. Yeah, that works. All right, so I think it's Constable or Master Huntsman. I'm glad I didn't take Straw Fencer, because Fence Deliveryman is probably likely to wheel, or at least be played early. Uh, yeah, so I can't take Stone Sculptor over any of these. Field Warden in a Constable game seems pretty valuable. Uh, but in G6, G7, Field Warden is slightly worse. Or maybe it's better because it, you don't have to waste time getting your green and stuff. I will take Field Warden. And leave the pigs for someone else. Don't immediately remember any animals apprentice crazy stuff. Itinerant Preacher with Animal Tamer's Apprentice in the game is kind of funny. As long as Rent Keeper didn't show up, it's probably fine. Coal Investor's very good. Vegetable Importer's fine too. But slightly redundant for me.
Haberdasher is fun, but I probably don't need it right now. Uh, there was the Backyard Baker in my opening pack, which I could wheel, where you get a veg every time you bake or something, and you get a grain, and Haberdasher lets you bake on miners instead of miner. This could be Haberdasher. Otherwise, it's probably Coal Investor. I should probably keep going for a Constable style, and Coal Investor definitely helps with that. Delivery Man is very similar. Honor Student is probably out of the question. Excuse me. Um, just because Headmaster's a first stock for me. Farm school graduate, poker player are also first ox. Everyone is, could get a first ox. Like an ox that you really want to play first. There was also wealthy euro. I don't think the payoff for honor student is good enough here. Uh, farm school graduate definitely doesn't fit. Someone else having poker player is really nice. Same with farm school grad. So I'll probably just take delivery man. All right. So backyard baker got taken. Straw fencer got taken. And uh, the four wood for wood miners got taken. Dung Collector is pretty redundant for me, as is Family Physician in terms of crops, but I could just use Family Physician for food. The other thing I could take is Manufacturer, uh, and I probably just want to take Manufacturer for higher ceiling. Stone Sculptor? That's fine enough. Uh, yeah, junior partner is unreliable. Fence deliveryman. I'd like to play, but this is already like uh, a few things I want to play relatively early that probably don't work out. I mean, there's probably too many early ox for farm school grad to be good here. Uh, I even get clay from ox for pottery. Yeah. And the stone I save can just be used on Stone Sculptor. Oh, I should turn my fan off. Yep, sorry about that background noise. Of course, that's substituted with some motorcyclist right outside. Uh, okay, so no one is going Animal Tamer's Apprentice. Escape Grace is nice with Poker Player, if you, like, really go all in. I'm not going to do that. So I'm taking Itinerant Preacher or Animal Tamer's Apprentice. This doesn't really fit my game too well, nor does this. I'm probably just not playing this card. All right, and there's a black rice plant for whoever has wealthy Euro. And apprenticeship. This is actually nice for wealthiest European. Escape Grace for two points. Well, that means I have to play it by round 11 and also play Field Warden by round 11. I guess everything fits, but then I'm fighting for Ox with the poker player and stuff. It just doesn't seem likely to me. This is interesting here. Coffee break also good for a no walk opening. Uh, let's see. So I don't have wealthy euro, but whoever does should be happy. I don't really need more pond. I barely need donkey.
Do I just do the lumen thing and take milking stool because milking stool? Uh, could I try to wiggle my way into an empty stone room? Play a three-person game with four rooms? That just seems bad. Yeah, Donkey does limit the... I was thinking about that, but if I had Haberdasher or Backyard Baker or something that gave me a green already, then I would do that. Um... Car alarms, excellent. Should have just kept the fan on. Uh, Herb Garden is likely to wheel. Yeah, I'd probably just take Donkey or Milking Stool. Milking Stool. Milking Stool, so good. I'm going to take Milking Stool. Lorelei for grain. Straw bale looks fun. Green looks fun, especially for the straw fencer. That's quite nice. Uh, this pick is Lorelei or Camembert, though. Both seem quite good here. Probably just take Lorelei. Green is still okay, but it gives me a veg, which I have good access to anyway. Barn, 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 barn. Love me a barn. Oh, well, aren't I hoping for wood costs also? Food bank, no. Punter, no. What was I considering here? Camembert? No. What was I considering here? Donkey? Donkey doesn't have a wood cost. Uh, I probably just take barn. Nail basket is really nice, but I want to be sculpting my stone. I don't need wood fired oven. Barn with Warden, not so cool. Well, I think I might still go for, like, a sown grain or two in stage three. Ah, uh, yeah. Kappa, indeed. Like, I... It just, like, I didn't quite end up with the right cards. I definitely am trying to do stuff that's good for me, but... I don't know. Like, I don't have... It's more like I'm playing for constable and some things that are fun just in case workshop liquidation i've never played a uh, canoe could be nice with uh lorelei animal show i'm not gonna have all three types pasture land I don't think fits this very well. I'm also really trying to figure out what my path, my game path uh, looks like. Animal stuff in a constable game, yeah. I just don't know if I'm gonna have it very early. I think I wanna take workshop liquidation, which gives five food and ability to rebuy pottery. Five food, two points with manufacture, if I can get that down. I feel like my game is probably one wood room, one clay room, after my seven clay from Ox comes in, manufacturer. Yeah, sometimes the draft just doesn't give me a fun path, I agree. Yeah, not great. Kinda wanna take canoe also, it does have a wood cost. I feel like all the wood costs are probably getting taken in front of me, though.
do I need this food read? Like a uh, grain food read on fishing. How much is that worth to me? Could be worth a fair bit. I mean, if I'm getting wooden clay from ox, then read to help that go along. It's fine. It's close. It's really close. Uh, here I take herb garden. Yeah, I'm thinking four rooms because of Field Warden and I didn't take Donkey. Dunghill could be okay, but Alchemist's Lab with Manufacturer in hand makes more sense to me. Uh, Punter, nobody saw a plow, I assume, which makes Field Warden and Donkey quite good here. Uh, so I take food bank and go for three barn triggers. If I do that, I probably don't play this. But because barn doesn't commit me to putting the stables on the round spaces, I can just, uh, Like, get rid of one of them to play food bank. So the well and joinery are going to be potentially big deals in this game. Okay, here, get first player, and instead of Reedstone, I got to play this headmaster. Zwedar, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Feel free to ask any questions you wish. Scholar playing poker player. Yeah, that's what I like to see. And Field Watchman taking three woods, so PJ gets uh, first, uh, first action Reedstone food from the four seat. Here, um... Day labor is basically two thirds of a point because my headmaster food I should actually pay for ox, use for ox here. I could plow to get a head start on barn or I could just take two wood. So I do want to play coal investor and delivery man this stage. Stone Sculptor, if possible. My feeding plan is probably a hearth and maybe guilds. Whoa, private school. Awesome. This is fantastic news for uh, Headmaster. It's going to let everyone play all the ox. Uh, this could... I'm going to say this could be a five point and some food headmaster. So I'd expect field watchman to go ock hawk here, but you never know. PJ took day labor. I think I prefer reed stone just to make sure I get it.
Private school is also one food for the third arc onwards. Hey, Kimball, yeah, heck yeah. Private school into the headmaster. Honor student for field watchman. PJ might have farm school grad too. Like, uh, this is uh, juicy. Uh, there's also the wealthy European line, which PJ could take. Alright, PJ got Reedstone. It's looking like Wealthy Euro is probably his path. Uh, delivery Man here. I probably don't play uh, Stone Sculptor until stage 2 or 3. Uh, yeah, Wood First is fine. as delivery man doesn't specify. So I want to get Lorelei out. Yeah, I think Field Watchman might get paid a few times at private school, or at least for himself, it's quite nice. You would two reader coal invest. I I want to see if I can get deliveryman out with coal investor this early. I think it'll be quite valuable. Scholar pays field watchman immediately, and field watchman gets two read out of it. This is great for PJ. Oh man, what a start! Two readstone foods and a three wood. Oh, PJ Large Sun Hat. Fun. I'll take the three wood. I would assume PJ goes Reedstone into Plow into something. Private school next to Reedstone food space. That's <laughs> uh, funny. Yeah, I guess the cards never that are action spaces never say where they go. It's like, uh, you could just throw it on the board in an intersection and make things really crazy for stuff like Musketeer. Uh, PJ takes four wood, that's awesome. Uh, and Traveling was taken by Scholar for a green. Right, right. If you have Deliverman in Stage 1 card... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, my next play here might not be super flexible. Yeah, because I want to awk and food and start, right? In some order. Scholar playing Master Huntsman. Oh, and Major came out fourth. PJ taking the plow here, of course. Uh, so I could private school the coal investor. Uh, does this, is this headmaster eligible? 
No, I think that's not headmaster eligible. Whoops. Oh god, I messed this up. Refresh, please. Okay. Uh, can I use to pay private school? Am I just wrong? I might just be wrong. Yeah, the food is to you. Mm, I think I probably just want to start here. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Or I could play Stone Sculptor and forget Lorelei till later. So this is basically inviting this to get taken now, uh, which means I probably have to day labor next round along with an awk. But with three awk spaces, if I take food first action next round, if I get it, then uh, it would have to go ok 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 for me to lose out. And I'm pretty sure Scholar is building a fireplace first. I missed design space. In three years, there are empty spots on the left board. If you could choose where to put... Yeah, you know, that's a fun idea. So Field Watchman took wood and PJ took the three clay on the sun hat action. So I do get my food and grain here, which is a bit of a steal. Of course I don't have room parts, but you know, that's fine. Four food and a grain here is uh, pretty fortunate, I'm going to say. Field Watchman plays Constable. So we are officially in a Constable game. The other four Wadok I saw was uh, most improvements with a wood cost. Uh, is there an argument that I should take Reedstone food over playing Coal Investor? If I have the choice. Or to read. Maybe not to read. Reedstone food maybe would have wor been worth it, but... Probably not. Uh, I didn't add a headmaster food, so I'll just pay this way. Whoa. So I'll want to start start uh, stockpiling away. That's why you play uh, Coal Investor round two. Yeah, but then I don't have Delivery Man. I think this is still okay. The amount of people wanting to play Ox, like Scholar plays Veg Importer there. Um, I think still trying to get value out of my Ox is a good idea. Field Watchman builds. PJ probably starts or three woods here. Which means I get reed. I get a big reed pile if I want it. Though reed stone food for later stone sculptor also makes sense.
And PJ does take three wood, so I keep start. Pretty cool. Uh, and it's stone. Stone Sculptor likes that. Here I take three reed, I guess. Just to keep Scholar and Field Watchman farther away from building. Yeah. You wonder the average round that stage one deadline cards are played. Skews to fourth round, probably. Can I line up two rooms? That's also a good idea. I get my eighth wood in round seven as of now. Three wood's a good take here. Reedstone food also is quite nice though. I do like preparing stone sculptor very early. Oh, I have this barn to worry about also. PJ probably builds here, but maybe he has more dastardly plans. There's wealthy Euro, a little early. And forgoes building a room. So that's cool. Uh, Field Watchman already had a room, I guess, so it's not as useful. Skipping round eight stable, most likely. That's what I'm thinking. Not a big deal. Tempo, definitely more valuable. Um, four stone. Does he know I have the stone sculptor? Maybe he has something crazy like hanging gardens. Or even something as tame as encircling wall. Ruins would be a really good reason to take four stone with it. I got my room in round five, so I'm happy. Constable early if you're not in wood need. Uh, well, Field Watchman was the fourth person to see Constable, so everyone saw it. And I think it's okay because everyone saw it. If not everyone saw it, then it's a different story, obviously. Ruins would be a good reason to take one step. <laughs> True, but then well tempo and such. Uh, Camembert going on Auk and Grain and Private School. <laughs> Ooh, Freeloader. Whoa. Uh, first pick Constable, definitely late game. And we get round seven Reno, so this is great for PJ. Uh, and I'm getting first grow here. Uh, I could play Alchemist's Lab, which is kind of a crazy idea. Field Watchman playing Pasteurization Expert here. Oh, and I missed Freeloader. I'm uh, N minus two. So if Field Watchman plays Pasteurization Expert, I should have four plus three plus two minus two. Oh, and Honor Student gave a sheep. Okay. Makes sense because he's in a bit of a feeding situation here. Uh, PJ should probably build here, right? Six wood, can't complain. Uh, I gotta start. Uh, let's play the barn and see if I can get a plow at some point. And 
then maybe play the Alk Lab on Grow next round. I'll take traveling here, I think, if I can. Hoping for Stone Sculptor and Manufacturer in Stage 3, I think. Manufacturer is kind of my feeding plan. I could go for the other hearth. Scholar plays Cabinet Owner. PJ not taking two read with Wealthy Euro is a bit interesting, but it's very hard to see when you're getting wood. Field Watchman takes the traveling. So I could take Reedstone here and then play Stone Sculptor as a last action. But then I lose the first barn. That's okay. Uh, just for playing occupations is that food. Uh, PJ plows because of sun hat. Right, right. I will have enough wood for food bank. Is this only when another player uses it? Yeah, it's too bad. Read stone food. Well, I would be playing stone sculptor probably to feed. And that would just be like, screw the first barn. This also gives me resources for my room in Reno. Yeah, and the clay doesn't help me feed here. Uh, I still think I would most rather fish with the last action next round, but this gives me more outs. This isn't a super uh, efficient opening for me, but it's going to be good enough. This is going to be a nine point poker player. It's going to be up to Scholar to see if he can get enough growing and farming done, but round seven growth definitely helps. Why not six clay into Reno clay oven? Uh, Cause I didn't see that. Uh, also, I didn't have a stone. Six fences for scholar. And it looks like Sun Hat is going to build a room for uh, freeloading. So it looks like I will get the fishing also. Yeah, and with so many ox, round seven growth, these piles are going to get huge. Camera's blurry. Uh, I think that's just my light, honestly. Uh, Alk Lab or food bank. There is a smudge. Okay. Uh, that might be better actually. Do I just play Alk Lab here? Yeah, I have a bigger family. Fixing problems from across the North Sea. Don't forget the Atlantic and a big continent. Um, uh, 
Field Watchman playing Straw Fencer. Headmaster is already at three points, and it's round uh, seven. PJ playing canoe, but I have to take the... If I take fishing, then he plays pottery, probably. Yeah, I just am a tiny bit short on food. That's really unfortunate. Because I would really love to take one of these stacks, but I guess I'll get it next round. Ten clay is in play, especially with all the wood that's also going to be piling up. Oslo, the Agricola capital of the world? Uh... Well, if you want to claim about sheep sweeping, then I don't want to be a part of it. Scholar being, uh, Ock, because of, what is this thing? Oh, returning an animal to plow, that's fun. With Master Huntsman? Field Watchman gets eight clay as a reward for not growing. It's going to be a fairly open family growth game for round seven, so I really want to capitalize on at least one resource grab. Okay, and PJ plays pottery, which means I can just take clay for building a room and fireplace. It seems okay for me. I'm not convinced I can beat Scholar. I assume Scholar has some good point ceiling coming in. Uh, okay, so here's a difficult point in the game where I need to mix and match uh resources with a room and ox four stone has to be the play here then everyone else takes the wood and i get the clay Have I mentioned JFT6W? Yeah, I think I'm obligated morally to take six wood. There could be just a large extra amount of stone in this game. I'm not sure about private school. I don't like it. The three wood cost is not great. Build wood room and chill. It's also a good idea. Play food bank. Where do I want food bank to go if I play food bank? Yeah, I also think private school is weak. Field watchman plays animal breeder. I don't need to build a room yet. PJ up to nine stone. I hear taking all the wood in the game is a good strategy.
So five clay or five wood next. Oh, zipper. Yeah, I mean, if I want a full farm, then this seems... Uh, so, Headmaster's up to... It's getting close to four points and two food. Right now it's three points, four food. Well, there it is. The junior partner, which is... Uh... Not going to be very useful. Did I see a single passing miner this game? No. Uh, okay, so Field Watchman is growing, and that means I'm getting 5 wood or 5 clay back. Yeah, Scholar 1 Poker. It's a big investment, though. What does he even have? He's giving other people points. He's getting plows by returning animals, and he's building majors for boar. And he's getting crops by going in the middle of everyone. No, oh, flower field for field watchmen. That's a. This one's pretty high rated. I don't think I've played it yet. Great game for Headmaster, indeed. Uh, could have been 17 food. Yeah. I'll just sweep all this up. Uh, let's see, what am I doing next round? I have 19 wood... Oh, I need to plow. Build is pretty safe, yeah. PJ building the well. This arrangement says that he doesn't have hanging gardens, so I'm a little surprised at wanting the four stone. Yeah, good thing I have four wood, four clay, that's right. So what is this? Uh, Reno clay oven. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't get everything done. I think I've mostly give up on these first two barns. Could play manufacturer with, no, because then I don't build a room. Oh, good times. Uh... Yes, the wiser dude being uh, me a while ago and the less wise dude being me today. I'm not feeling too wise, but it's always good to remember those things. Yeah, this seems correct. I also have a food to pay for. Uh... Well, Damba, you can even ask Nightbot, like Nightbot knows. What am I playing as a miner here? Probably nothing or milking stool. I'll play milking stool. 
It can't go that badly. Wait, uh, actually, actually, no, I can't. Uh, PJ gets a read on top of the food. Oops, that's not a clay room. And I think I just keep my wood uh, for joinery. Yeah, manufacturer is going to be good enough on its own, I think. Ah, Scholar playing White Kingdom, really going for a ceiling. I mean, with this amount of ceiling, he doesn't need a huge farm. Field Watchman playing Sheep Lord makes sense. Scholar is on two peeps. No, not sheep lord. Uh, boar, please. It makes sense. Is that how that works, right? It's an option? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think he should have one less food, but I'm not gonna call him out on it. Uh, Field Watchman takes these instead of Ox. Um, yeah, and I grow here. Food bank on plow? Nah. I think I don't want to play food bank yet, if at all. PJ's leading with two wood count things. I'd much rather have milking stool down because I'm probably fencing this coming round. Well, Scholar is start player. Also, PJ doesn't want to start player because he has freeloader. It might be a two single cow actions game. I mean, I should still have an action advantage and I'm going... Uh, like, I have four people in round nine in a round seven growth game. I think this is feeling fine. Uh, now, okay, so 13 on Headmaster is correct. Uh, and Field Warden, so I should have time to do all that. My feeding is still a little suspicious. Two cows, the ox team special? It depends. So Scholar gets the six wood here. 
Oh, didn't use plow. Oh, never mind. Plow dealers for fields, not for. Um... How does he have two fields right now? I think I guess he must have had one field before playing White Kingdom. Field Watchman uh, doing the straw fencer thing at the end of last round seems good. I mean, I'm going to play Manufacturer if I can. I do also want to get a field down. I probably should just fence now. Oh, wait. Wait. That's interesting. Okay. I could keep taking wood, but that only really hurts PJ, and I think Field Watchman is a bigger opponent right now. Yeah, so my plan is Reedstone Food, Manufacturer, Start Player, BMW, something like that. Uh, oh, I could also Alp Lab myself at this point. Yeah, one cow is definitely fine. It's uh, an extra food. But joinery is going to be a big deal with cabinet owner in the game. Drag that over here, along with Constable. I, I shouldn't have a problem hitting Constable. Scholar playing Cooking Hearth 2. So actually, Alp Labbing to get the fireplace seems quite good, eventually. You don't like the G4, G5 extra action spaces? I mean, Alchemist Lab is on the same level as Goldmine to me, where it has the potential of just throwing too many resources in the game. Contract Builder, definitely not good. Nobody likes Contract Builder. Okay, so Field Watchman really did this to get uh, the cows going this round also. Okay, this makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it just strictly trumps Reedstone. Food looks a little iffy until you realize that uh, this is Animal Breeder and Scholars on two people. So I want to Alp Lab before Basket Makers Workshop. PJ playing Haberdasher. Into Stone Oven next round. I think I can fade Ock here from
So I will manufacture and start player basket makers workshop ahead of joinery. I think I am going to use headmaster food because sadly this is not trivial for me right now. Oh, PJ's growing. So I can take five food to open next round. Or I could just uh, restart with joinery and get the round 12 space. Or go for the two cows that way. Brain trying for points. Sue private school. Okay, uh, if he doesn't see that, that's his loss. Uh, so food, fence, joinery, plow. I think I just need the food. Yeah, and I need to play Field Warden pretty soon. Plow guys get me a stable. There's a lot of stuff to do. So I won't play Stone Sculptor. It's definitely not worth it anymore. Field Watch from taking three read is interesting. I think I can get the two cows, even though that's pretty greedy. I don't have much of a choice. Uh, so fencing, and then I will either field warden plow if plow gets blocked, or plow SP if I get really lucky. So field watchman and scholar don't have a ton of actions, and I'm not really sure what they're doing with them. PJ also wants the fireplace, but that is also pottery clay. I don't really need to fence now. Let, let me just get this plow in. Start player joinery and fences is the ideal here. Scholar being on two actions up till now, not having time to start player, has really been helping me. I've had good seating position. Well, I mean, nobody's really taken start player, which helps. Oh, more pond, that's right. Good play. Choosing to sow a veg instead of a grain. Uh, both options are good. Uh, this one gets him extra food, which he kind of needs. All right, so um, Field Watchman can't fence anymore, and PJ doesn't have enough wood to fence pretty much no matter what he does. So I will start player here with joinery. I 
I definitely can afford it this time. All right, I think my game is in good shape now. Just need to fade Field Watchman taking one cow or PJ doing it. But hard to expect that when there's pairs on the board and like three stone, but I guess PJ has been taking plenty of stone. So uh, Field Watchman plays Dumb Collector. So PJ only needs to play one more Auk for my Headmaster to be five points. So I think I'll play Field Warden with normal food. Villain. <laughs> so there are more ox on the way. That's amazing. That's amazing. This is such a headmaster. Five points, three food. That's ridiculous. What a headmaster. Yeah, I'll just eat it all. This does make Alchemist Lab pretty unusable now. This is Reno Fireplace or Two Pigs, right? Oh, is PJ one food short of feeding? Yeah. So one thing to notice in animal breeder games is that the animals uh, do stack up actually a tiny bit more. And it's Plowso, which is a beautiful thing. So what I'm actually going to do here is cows and then sheep or pigs probably pigs being one more point and then uh field warden plowso okay scholar wants the three pigs good enough Yeah, so Plow is actually not as contested as you once thought, Donba. It's definitely good. But three sheep high on to-do list? Yeah. It's going to be three point, well, four points and two food. If I can get a fireplace. It's a really good plow so for him, yeah. Yeah, flower field and a dung field, definitely good. PJ gets it also. Look at all these resources that are on the board. This is crazy. So I basically just need to get a boar and field warden down, and I have constable. Taking wood is definitely good. Uh, I might take six wood if it comes back, but scholar gotta take it here. Field watchman needs to, oh, downsizing. Wow, I don't think I saw that. Downsizing, man. Who ended up with Donkey? I feel like Donkey Animal Breeder is pretty nice. 
gives you a really good reason to take cows twice in a row. Yeah, okay. Field Watchman Reno donkeys. Which means he needs one more plow action instead of two. Seems good. And he'll have Constable. What is the wood thing at right now? Field Watchman's got one. PJ's got three. I've got one, two, three, uh, just two. Third one is in my hand. PJ took the six wood, right. Uh, okay. Four stone is fun, but kind of unnecessary. Sorry, just gotta stand up and, uh, adjust a little um should probably just play field warden soon i guess i can plow here there's no difference yeah i guess you would just want start player but then again, start player for round 13 grow. I guess he thinks he has 13 points off board already, which is true. But I mean, that's it's not quite enough, I would say. You really want something like 25 to feel good about losing a room spot. Yeah, maybe he's plow sewing. Uh, another reason to not play Field Warden yet is to try to min-max one more food out of Headmaster. Uh, he could need the... Ac no, there's no way he can get three Wood Miners right now. Yeah. What's interesting is that PJ might win the wood improvement thing without even seeing cabinet owner. So that was my first pack. I agree, it doesn't make a ton of sense. Also, what doesn't make a ton of sense is Donkey if Field Watchman is building a room here, which play-by-play -play suggests. PJ takes four stone again. What on earth could that be? Oh, I mean, donkey doesn't make sense if he builds the room. The room is fine. The donkey is uh, more questionable. Well, he has two fields coming in from Dung Collector, so he doesn't need to fill the space. Uh... Probably take four wood here. get closer to using alchemist lab properly i probably need to get the fireplace pretty soon oh unreal uh oh stone pilers in this game stone pilers in this game ah i forgot about that
That's still too much stone. Yes. Mansion while he's currently in wood. I have a guy that looks like Robin Hood. Yeah, the Field Warden guy is based on Robin Hood, right? Scholar is going to probably return a pig next round if he can feed to get that last field filled in and then needs a cow. Unfortunately, I have a fair bit to do still. Uh, food bank is a good play for me. Not sure where I want to put it, though. PJ also growing. Yeah, I just don't know where is two food. I'm trying to figure that out. Four, definitely a priority, but if I start player, then it's not that bad. Could also workshop liquidate. Uh, veg. Warden, Plowso. I could even put the last barn stable outside. Because I really want to wait out Field Warden. Five wood is pretty good here. Who's taking it? Nobody's taking it. A uh, Scholar might for stables. Just get the constable done, build the fireplace. Right now I have two food, four if I build fireplace, six with joinery. Probably eat a second sheep, take reed. Why do I end up in this kind of space for feeding? I probably just end with four fields with Field Warden. Scholar grabs a cow. I could just play Workshop Liquidation and Food Bank in round 14 when I'm more confident PJ doesn't have a uh, wood miner. Oh, um, sorry, I have four wood, sorry. Yep. Yeah, and just for min-max, I'd really like PJ to play Stonepiler before. I play Field Warden. Or I could be gambling. But I guess with the wood taken, I can play Field Warden first. PJ plays Straw Bale. Whenever you bake, you may fence without placing a family member.
This feeding is really suspect. Though I guess Reed is good enough. I I want a veg plow so though. Could just munch two grain. Field Watchman plays wood fired oven to get to two wood cost things. It looks like it's going to be a three wood cost game. Oh, I only get one food from stool. Crap. And so bake got taken. Yeah, I can't even do veg plow so. Means I have to do veg plow plow so with three of my moves next round. Which means I don't get read. What have I done? What have I done? PJ's gonna buy stone oven next move, it looks like. So here I could play workshop liquidation or I could take a veg. I guess taking a veg is the worst move here. The problem with workshop liquidation is that it throws another thing back to the board. I don't know if Stone Sculptor would have done the same thing. I I ate five food of resources last round. Um, two reed feeds me pretty well. And this way I can plow sow grain, veg plow plow sow, or plow sow, veg plow sow next round. and probably still feed. Have time for food bank. Not eat any raw grain. PJ indeed playing stone oven here. Yeah, this end game is uh, a bit wild, but they usually are. Um, I feel good still about where I am. And then I get an extra stool next round. Uh, barn space. Yeah, this saves me an action, basically. All right, so what is my ideal here? So I am fed with some amount of raw grain milking stool would read in a worst case scenario. I'd really like to play food bank though. Oh no, did PJ beg last harvest? Whoops. So let's see, food bank is a three point move. 
growing if I can afford it. Alk Lab probably is too weak here. I'm not going to have time to do workshop liquidation. PJ first action fishes, but uh, uh, so this Plowso is funnily available. Okay, so Veg Plowso. Food bank fireplace? Veg Plowso, is that an okay end game here? That feeds me, but not super well. Growth. Scholars at four. Uh, and I'll put this on, I mean, he doesn't need a field. Who's freaking plowing? Nobody. I guess I'll put it on grow. Uh, I built my barn stable, if that's what you're mentioning. I put the stable on family growth. Watchman so bakes. Not sewing on flower field for some reason? Or just not decided yet? Stone piler for PJ. Yep, kind of suspected that one. Six wood here is two points, two food. One, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and I didn't grow. Cool. That's probably as good as a move as I can find here. So yeah, this will be my game. I'm gonna have constable. I'm gonna have a two point stool. I could have three points for Uh, it's going to be the, uh, cabinet owner was, is in the game Donbass. So this is my third wood cost improvement, which ties PJ and nobody else has, well, field watchman has two, but this really makes sure I win it. So it's a three point in a food play, maybe two points, but it, it's a necessary defense that I have to do first. I guess I don't have the constable yet. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not either. I had to, like, really think it through. This is going to be a good Sheep Lord for Field Watchman. I feel like I'll have this one by two or three points over Field Watchman. Huge headmaster. Four clay for clay miners. Uh, isn't there? Isn't there a four clay card for clay cost things equal to the wood cost one? I mean, it's a good thing I played Field Warden because of blocks, but... It's not super useful here. I mean, it's, I guess it's useful enough now that this has all been shown. Field Watchman plays Baker's Oven, so giving up on cabinet owner, getting food. Trees for the citizens. Oh, tree in the forest, does it, it doesn't make a sound, gotcha, yeah. No, that's probably true. Uh, PJ plays Backyard Baker. Getting a veg, getting a fences action, won't get the animals out. Oh, Scholar or Field Watchman definitely has the minor for having all animals but uh all the improvement spots are gone basically all right so five Constable, three cabinet owner, two milking stool, feed wood, reed, stool, food. For eight. Breed, breed, all the triangles. The triangles should win it here. Oh yeah, 44 plus. Chris number one, yeah, something like that. Um, 54, 60, 61. Yep, pretty nice. I mean, that headmaster is ridiculous. Five points for food. That is a ridiculous headmaster. Oh yeah, and only piffed field watchman by two points. Kind of like I thought. PJ gets to fill in a bunch of fences, but those three beggars and no constable, yeah, it's not gonna do much. Oh, and quarry. Whoa. Yeah, 20 of 21 possible ox. Field Watchman played perfect game. I mean, I don't think private school is a good idea, even if... Because, like, Honor Student is the worst out of, like, Honor Student poker player and Headmaster, maybe. So, to help... I think it helped his opponents too much, and the three would... Uh, the three would cost early probably set him back in terms of growing when pj declined to 
grow with the first room or something like that. Um, so we have 54 and 34 rounding it out. Yeah, if PJ figures out his stage five feeding a bit neater, then the score is a lot higher for sure. Uh, 59 and 34. <laughs> you got it, Don, but nice job. You have a lot of really good cards in G7. And I, I've been looking at... Uh, yeah, I agree, Kimball. It, it's... It's one of those. It's like a market crier almost. Oh, 36. Um, yeah, because I've been looking at the create a card a lot more. I made like six or seven cards now in the last couple weeks. And I noticed that you have a lot of high vote scores. I think they're pretty well deserved. Uh, you come up with interesting ideas. Yeah, I mean... Cloudy all over feels very strong. Yeah, I think it does too. If you can, so the plow dealer scholars card here says, if you do one farming thing really well, you also get to do the other farming thing really well. And yeah, that kind of feels like, um, Oh, awesome, Don, but let me know your thoughts, of course. Um, thing of making site challenge. Play G8, win money. Eight weeks of G8. Well, that's a lot of money. I don't know if getting money involved is a good idea um, for an online thing. I feel like there isn't enough emphasis already on keeping the games fun here on play agricola so that is a bit worrisome to me um that would be a concern anyway um in a more ideal world i think that's a great idea don't get me wrong i think that's really fun i just don't know how realistic it would be to keep everything fun if money's on the line because uh, money unfortunately does weird things to people no matter who the people are Uh, but uh, that is the end of this one. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, this was definitely wild in terms of Ox. And kind of exposes the craziness that can happen when you throw in a bunch of player-created stuff. Oh, yeah, I mean, gift cards is a lot calmer, I agree. Um... And I mean, there's also a thing we could do where, um, like if you do suggest cash prizes, uh, we could have a bunch of people saying, uh, yeah, I'll play, but donating to Chris, whatever money I win, that would be an interesting concept just to see if the community latches onto that or not. Uh, but of course, if you keep it as cash, it's not like guaranteed. Uh, you could also do like donations in your name or something like that. But that's, I mean, it's a little transparent, even though it's, uh... oh yeah, cool farm stuff. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, even if it doesn't work out this summer for G8, you could apply that idea to other future tournaments too. Um... Yeah, in case that becomes interesting for anyone. So yeah, good idea. All right, uh, I am going to sign off now. Uh, after waiting for about an hour, it took another uh, 
hour and a half to get this one done because that's how long the games take. Uh, it looks like William didn't win the previous game because to win Tuesday seems like it's still going. Yep, Sabash won by two. Everyone had strong stuff here. How did this one end? Thanks, Donba. I mean, William had basically the farm he wanted. How did Sabash get a couple extra points? Stable Architect, Chief Daughter, Cured Meat. And Mercator got a great farm too, but only the Stable Architect points. Yeah, this one had lower ceiling on cards, but higher ceiling in round order. Because we had round seven growth. They had round five growth, five twelve growth. So all their farms are pretty, but their cards were a lot weaker. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna host William right here. I just need to open my dashboard here. So yep, thanks again for watching. I'll probably see a few of you in the Play Agricola stream. And uh, yeah, hope to see you all tomorrow. Take care, everyone.